Okay, so local SEO and Google My Business, the framework. Uh, so the first thing you need to know is that uh, ranking your Google My Business listing is highly correlated with your organic rankings. So for example, say your site is ranking on a first page, let's say the fifth position, and your competitor site is ranking on the second page on the 10th position. Now, if both of you guys have a GMB listing, yours it's, is much more likely to be ranking higher than your competitor's one because the, orga the, or sorry, the organic ranking for his uh, website is on the second page. So this is to say that, again, GMB listings, the rankings of those listings are correlated with the organic rankings of your site and of the pages of your site. Of course, it's possible to rank on the maps. So of course, you're, you can rank your uh, GMB listing higher without even having a site or without even being on the top uh, 10 pages of Google, but it becomes easier when your site ranks organically. So yeah, I just wanna make sure you, you know of this uh, because you are gonna be optimizing both your GMB and your website for local SEO. Now, local SEO, I'm sorry for uh, this slide is a bit messy, but uh, what matters is the content. So local SEO, so for local businesses, we have a few extra steps. So this is to say that when ranking a site, can be local or non-local, but if, it's, if it is a local site, so if you're trying to rank, for example, uh, like the example here, electricians in city. So if it is a local site, there's, there are a few extra steps in ranking your site. And I'll have a course later on, and if you're watching this in 2022, it must already be out, but a course on how to rank any site in Google, okay? But this slide is to say that there's different types of sites. So you can rank a site, for example, a, a Shopify store or a, I don't know, a, a business that's not local, okay? But for local SEO specifically, uh, keyword city or keyword uh, town, there are some extra steps you need to take. So the first one is, of course, create and optimize a listing on your GMB, Google for Business, then build citations, uh, generate and respond to reviews. And there's a bunch more things that we'll be going over in this course. This is just to say that for local SEO, there are some extra steps you need to take to uh, succeed. Now, just to show you the power, and I'm sure you're aware of this already, but just to show you the power of uh, GMB listings and the rankings, here on the left, this is a two-part picture, here on the left you can see that searching for electricians in Canton GA, you have the, the ads, of course, which take up a bunch of, of, the, of the real estate on the page, then you have the map, and right below the map are the... Uh, GMB listings, and this is where you want to be, because GMB listings are above the actual organic results, okay? And as you can see, the first organic result is Yelp, and it's much harder to, out, to organically outrank Yelp than to uh, have a GMB listing uh, on the top three, okay? So this is, this is just something to keep in mind uh, for you to know that the power of the GMB and the, the reason why uh, we want to tackle the GMB uh, as well as the organic rankings, but of course, GMB becomes somewhat easier for, uh, it depends on the local terms, but for, for example, for this term, outranking Yelp is not the easiest task, okay? But as you can see, the real estate for the GMB listings is immense and is super, super valuable. Now, moving on to GMB ranking factors. And people uh, have different names for this, uh, and this is more uh, of a theory, of course, all of this will then put in practice, but just so you know, there are four major uh, ranking factors for your GMB listing. So the first one is proximity, the second one relevance, the third brand awareness, and the fourth traffic. So what is proximity? Basically proximity is, uh, say, you are searching from a city, a, let's give an actual example. So you're searching from Texas, okay? You need to search for an uh, electrician in uh, Washington, D.C. So since you are in Texas and you search for an electrician, or let's, yeah, let's say just electrician, you're in Texas and you search for a local electrician or hire an, ele an electrician, sorry. No uh, listings, no GMB listings from Washington, D.C. or any other state will appear, or it's highly unlikely. So this is to say that when you search for something, Google automatically gives back local uh, businesses or local searches based, based on your location. So you need to optimize for the locations you serve, which is what I have written here. So again, 
if you your business is in Texas, sorry, the other way around, if your business is in Washington DC and someone from Texas uh, searches for electrician or hire an electrician, if you want your site to show up on that guy's search, you need to optimize it for Texas as well. And I'll cover in this course how to optimize for different locations. And how, the, the way you optimize for, for different locations is what I have written all, also here. It's the signals on your site, the content you syndicate to Google, uh, custom Gmaps. So this is just like an overview. We'll, we'll cover all of this. But basically proximity is when someone searches for, searches for something, sorry, the websites that are relevant to that search in terms of proximity uh, will appear first, which is kind of obvious, but it's what Google uh, gives their uh, searchers. Now, relevance. Uh, this is basically, again, so you have proximity. If I'm searching for location from location A, it's most likely that businesses that are providing services in location A will appear first, not to say that businesses that provide lo services far away from that location won't appear, but they're highly unlikely to do so. Like I said, we'll give you uh, some tips on how to make those uh, businesses, sorry, your business appear in different locations, even if they're far away. Now, regarding to relevance, this is where you make your search relevant. And this is kind of, I don't want to say obvious, but I think you understand this. Okay, so basically, if, you're, if someone searches for uh, hire a plumber um, in New York City, for example, you want your site to be optimized for those keywords and relevant to those keywords in that niche and that uh, search, so it appears. So again, optimize your site for those keywords, plus the location, so uh, Plumber New York City, Google My Business posts, rev optimize the reviews, which we'll get into later on, videos, your Google My Business site, your content syndication, all of these things that give relevance to your business. And you can uh, capitalize on the search, people on the things people are searching. But you need to be relevant to those people's searches. And that's what we learn to make our website and our business relevant to the most popular searches. And that's how you can get traffic. Then brand awareness. This is basically some extra signals you give Google because all of these are signals you're giving Google. So it ranks your site higher. But basically brand awareness signals are again, content syndication, citations, which we'll get into later on, press releases and a bunch more stuff. Basically to get Google to know that you are the, the authority in that niche, in that, in, in that location or in multiple locations, that's brand awareness. And then traffic, of course, it's a ranking factor. And uh, so a perfect example of, the, of this is say you are ranking number one and your competitor is ranking number two. Uh, say 10 people click on your site and they don't see, for example, or it, the site takes too, lo too long to load. People will g just go back and click on the second one. So, sorry. Uh, yeah, basically, we'll get into all of this later on, but CTR manipulation, which is click-through rate manipulation, uh, which is getting people to click your listing or your website, and press releases also give you traffic. Uh, but basically, all of these four uh, are the main GMB ranking factors. And now, moving on to specific ranking factors. So, like I said, Google My Business signs the proximity, the categories you choose for your when you're optimizing your GMB listing, which we'll have a video on ex how to actually create and, op and fully optimize your GMB listing, as well as the keywords you include in your description and name and everything else regarding to optimizing your GMB and giving all and giving Google all the signs it needs to make to to rank you higher. Okay, then links, of course, any SEO needs to know how to build links. So the number of the links, the quality, the anchor text use, etc we'll have a video exactly on what type of links to build, how to build them. Then we have, we have reviews, of course, which is extremely important, not only for rankings, but for the perceived value people see in your business, because sometimes, because reviews aren't everything. So you can have a business with 100 reviews ranking second and one with two reviews ranking first. So reviews don't uh, translate in uh, higher rankings, not necessarily, okay? But what they do is they, they do, to some extent, contribute to higher rankings, but they also contribute to people uh, choosing your business over someone else's. So if you have more reviews, even if you're second, people are more likely to click yours, okay? And of course, uh, the more five-star reviews, the better. Uh, again, quantity, speed, diversity, and then we'll, we'll also talk about how to optimize the reviews uh, to make them relevant reviews. Uh, then citations, um, this is, these are basically links on business directories, which again, I'll have a video solely on this. 
uh, you have to have consistency with the NAP or NAP, which is the name, address, and phone number. Again, we'll cover all of this. The volume of the citations and the quality. Sorry, this is a, a typo here. It should be quality of citations. And uh, finally, the behavioral signals, which are CTR manipulation, so the click-through rate, the clicks to call on mobile, the you can ask questions on GMBs, the thumbs up in reviews, the comments, the, the FAQs, a bunch of behavioral signals, okay? And these are the specific ranking factors. Now, moving on to the GMB optimization. And again, we'll have, we'll have a video exactly on this and how to uh, optimize your GMB. But basically, the process is simple. So you need to verify your GMB listing. It's pretty straightforward. Then you need to fully optimize that listing. So address, hours of work time, phone number or phone numbers, website. You have to include videos, images. We, we also cover how to, um, I'm sorry, so there's a there's a mis a misunderstanding um, here not a misunderstanding but people often uh, uh, think that when uploading images and videos to a GMB that they should add uh, sorry that they should geotag them for example to give them extra relevancy and that's something we do when uploading images to our websites or any other or any other place sorry you geotag them sorry geotag them to make them extra location relevant but the thing is, when you upload images to a GMB, it strips the the uh, that information, so it's not really necessary and it's a, a waste of time. But yeah, moving on again, I'll have a video just on this. Then the categories you choose, you have to of course uh, evaluate your competition and choose the categories based on your competitors. Okay, and you'll have a video on that as well and how to choose the perfect categories. Then keyword rich posts, then how to post, when to post, what to post, then how to syndicate the posts. FAQs, how to build proper FAQs with keyword rich optimizations and reviews. And all this may seem like a lot and, and, and complicated, but once I, sh once I show you the, the processes you need to follow, like step by step, you'll see it's, it's not that hard. And of course, then you can hire someone to do all of this for you. Then, of course, optimization uh, requires including keywords in your business description. Sorry. Uh, again, like I said, a wide range of keyword optimized images. Uh, at least one keyword optimized video, citations, 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 backlinks, and a lot of reviews. Okay, now I'm going to take you over the game plan. This is basically this is basically just an overview, a simple overview. And I know this diagram is not pretty, but it's enough for me to show you what actually is happening here. So as you can see, we have our money site. Okay, and there should be an arrow over there linking from money site to GMB listing. But basically, our money site links to our GMB listing. Our GMB listing then has three things uh, attached or associated with it. It's the business site, so the Google business site, the GMB posts, and images and videos that you post on your GMB listing. Okay, and these are these are three extremely powerful things that uh, here in this diagram you don't see, but all of these can be um, expanded. So all of these blue rectangle, rectang rectangles, sorry, rectangles are expandable. And there's a lot of things we need to do in each one of them, um, which can't be seen here. But like I said, all these three have a lot of stuff that we'll get into and a lot of the optimizations and interlinking and all of that. But the idea, this is just a, an overall game plan uh, to rank your GMB and also help you with your local uh, rankings. Uh, the idea is you link to both your GMB listing and to all of these three properties. Of course, you send citations to your money site, as you can see over there. Uh, and then you also will will also have YouTube videos uh, with keyword rich um, keyword rich uh, descriptions and titles and all of that, which we'll get into as well, pointing to your money site and to to your GMB listing and to all those three properties. Then we'll also have Google Drive stacks and not only Google Drive stacks, and I'll get into that in just a second. And then all of this uh, is syndicated to your social media. And again, some of this can be done automat automatically. Sorry. And then you take all of this and you do some press releases and some cloud stacking. The goal is to, um, is, to, is to take all of this and write a press release and syndicate it everywhere, okay? The PR, the press release, will have all the links for all of this in it and all the business info and much more, but we'll, get it on, uh, we'll do that and we'll look into it uh, later on. Then we also take advantage of cloud-based services, sorry, like Amazon, AWS, I'm sure you know of it, and Microsoft Azure, and a bunch of others to tie all of this up and give it a final push. But again, we'll look into this later on. 
And this is the introductory video. I just want to tell you a bit of what you'll learn, what you'll do, and what you uh, will uh, gain with this. And uh, yeah, I hope you like this video and on to the next one.